Hey guys, Mark and Beck from Wild Family Travel today. So today we're flying with Shaman Air. It flies five times out of Melbourne. Shaman is its hub. So they go from there all over China. So today we will be flying 7,400 kilometres or nine hours and 22 minutes from Melbourne to Xiamen. Uh, the plane is a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, so it's got a configuration of 3, 3 and 3, which should be interesting. Looking forward to what sort of food and entertainment they actually have on a Chinese carrier for Western people. So, yeah, so it should be a bit of an interesting flight. Our daughter's flown this flight before and she said it was quite good, so I'm coming to it with uh, good expectations at this stage. See you in China. Bye. The service of drinks on Xiaomen Air was really good and really impressive. Basically 20 minutes after taking off, as soon as the seatbelt sign came off and the plane levelled out, they were bringing the drinks trolleys up and down the aisles. They had a choice of beer, wine, fruit juices, teas, you name it, they had it. Western tastes, Asian tastes, everyone was catered for. It was really good. I've got myself a Chinese beer here, I'm not quite sure what type it is or anything but we'll give it a crack see what it's like okay so one hour and seven minutes since departure meal service is on so i'll be interested to see what we get hopefully it's something nice yummy and asian for the first meal service on Xiaomen, there was officially three options available we went with the chicken for this meal uh, Chicken was quite nice, had a nice mild peppery sauce, there were some potatoes, you got your little bowl of fruit, your little cake, and there was actually a couscous with a piece of chicken on top and a bread roll. You could also have the fish, fish was on rice, uh, the rice was mildly flavoured, but other than that, it was actually the same options on the side, a bit of fruit, a bit of cake, and a little bit of salad. So I would say that Xiaomen's service is chaotic maybe, unorganised at the best. Uh, we are sitting down near the back of the plane, there's a row of three, so me, my wife and, and Marley. Uh, we're not at the very back row, we're about five or six rows in, but we were the last people to receive food uh, and there was no choice by the time we got back so I wasn't overly happy about that. Um, they come and clear trays and tables at random um, so yeah it's a little bit unorganized but and I was to be honest with you I was pretty annoyed with the fact that we were served last when we were sort of in the middle of a cabin so I don't quite know how that happened but the lady who uh, had to tell us that we had no choice except for the fish that my wife didn't like just came back then and said because we gave you no choice at the end you can choose first this time so which was quite nice that actually redeemed redeemed it a bit in my eyes because I was actually pretty angry about the fact that yeah that we weren't at the end but we had no choice so I've got to say though all the staff have been friendly on Jowman, uh, responsive when you push the button so they've come around frequently with drinks so as far as I can see service wise like I said it's a little bit chaotic and sporadic in the way they do it but obviously that's the way they do it and it works for them so but yeah so we'll see what the second service is like on this nine hour flight. Okay, let's take a look at what Xiaomen Air has got to offer for in-flight entertainment. Uh, it's a rather old system with the, the pull-out controls that you actually have. So this plane we're having a look before is 10 years old, so it's an older Boeing Dreamliner, but hey, still got a few things to watch. Got a selection of music, uh, English, Chinese as well. What else have we got? What have we got in games? 
got a wide range of games, chess, mahjong, you know, it's even a few uh, multiplayer games that you can play, which is always good. Uh, funny thing though, me and my daughter who's sitting next to me, we tried to play Uno before as a multiplayer, but she could see what cards I had and I could see what cards she had, so that really didn't work too well, did it? So, what sort of movies have we got? So I had a quick look at this before, so there's a lot of Western titles here that you can watch. Kung Fu Panda, Avatar, Fall Guy, Napoleon, Dark Knight, Harry Potters. So I think I had a quick count before and there was around 46 different movies that you can watch on here, all in English, which was really good. It's also Chinese movies, overseas movies, TV series. So actually I would say there's a children's section as well if you've got kids. I would say the entertainment system on Xiaomi is actually quite good and there's really enough on there for you to do over the eight hours or nine hours of this flight, which is really good. I'm going to say, it's probably not a bad sized toilet here on Xiaomi. There's plenty of room there. Like small this way, but... Get a little sink. Got some hand wash lotion. Okay, so it's tidy, I've seen staff come in and out, fixing it up, so, okay, we better let the line of people come in. True, true to their word, Xiaomin did bring us our choice of meal for the second meal. We ordered the beef with rice, and it came with some bok choy in it, so it was really tasty. It was the Asian meal, actually, that we were looking for the first time around. Come with a little tabbouleh salad with some ham on it, a cake, your fruit and your bread roll as usual. The food was actually quite good on Xiaomin, I must say I really actually liked it. So as far as plain food went, Xiaomin was pretty much a winner taste-wise. Comment about the dessert? I think this is probably the best uh, airplane dessert I've ever had. It's absolutely delicious. So we found the nine and a half hour journey on Xiamen Air pretty good. The staff or the crew have been brilliant. We actually missed out on a meal the first time around and didn't get a choice. So we were the first ones to get a meal for the second one. Uh, nine and a half hours, two good sized meals, snack and plenty of drinks. It was a pretty good flight. I even got some sleep in so I should be quite nice for everybody on this transfer this time. We've just watched the instruction video though on how to transfer from the international flight that we're on to the domestic and it seems really confusing so stay tuned to see how long that goes well and how long that oh so stay tuned to see how well that goes.